In this example, DNA samples in which the OXTR locus has been amplified will be digested with restriction enzymes to determine genotype. First, the amplified samples are needed, including the negative control. The appropriate restriction enzyme is also needed. In this case, the variant being studied in the OXTR gene demonstrates alternative digestion by BAMH1. Enzymes must stay on ice at all times or they may lose their cutting activity. Obtain as many new tubes as you have DNA samples. As always, mix the amplified samples and collect the solution in the centrifuge. Make sure your new tubes are labeled and transfer 10 microliters of amplified solution into the corresponding tube. Amplified samples can be put in the fridge at this point. Do not throw them away. They will be needed as a comparison and control during gel electrophoresis. Add one microliter of the restriction enzyme to each tube. Be aware of the small volume, but also the viscosity of the enzyme solution. Enzyme solutions typically contain glycerol, a very thick solution. It will stick to the tip, which could cause the addition of more than is needed into the reaction. Wipe the tip on the edge of the tube before dispensing into your sample. Repeat this process for the remaining samples. Cap the tubes and label them to distinguish from the amplified samples. mix and centrifuge to collect the solution. Place the samples in the thermocycler if necessary which for OXTR, it is. Mm -hmm. 
run the cut program, remembering to enable the heated lid and watch for errors until the cycler has reached temperature.